private sector under housing benefit, they're not allowed to have extra bedrooms. They've never been. So they are only paid in the private sector for the number of bedrooms that they occupy. But the point of social well, housing but, is to help the but, Yes, exactly. But that's exactly what we do. All we're saying is uh, people who work on marginal income, who don't receive a housing benefit, those who are in the uh, private rented sector, they know very well that you occupy a house that you can fit into. Because, look, the taxpayer is paying about £900 per household mm. to help people stay in social housing. So tell me about pensioners. So the point about the pensioners is they are not included in this. No pensioner is going to be included Ex in this. Existing. Yeah, exactly. Existing pensioners. And, and going forward, uh, even where somebody is in work, where there is a pensioner who, for example, uh, is uh, uh, not retired and is working, and another one that it is, where somebody is in receipt of the uh, means-tested pension, the pension guarantee, uh, then they won't be included either. The reality is that they're looking at universal credit further down the road, and they've asked a specific question about that, and we've yet to set, finally, what we do with that ah. group. So that's all I'm saying well, is right, it we'll is wait. not our intention that pensioners in any way will, uh, will suffer under this particular thing. It's not about punishing people, Eddie. This is about trying to reallocate the housing so that people live in a home that they occupy, and others who are overcrowded, right. as I said, of which there are a million on the waiting list, a quarter of a million, uh, looking for homes that they can have sp sp uh, extra rooms uh, and we have a million spare bedrooms kicking around the in the state. It's not right. punishing, it's about getting the balance right and councils are already beginning to sort this out now. All right. now we started talking about judges in another context. Um, the appeal court uh, gave the government a bit of a, a, a kicking this week. What do you think of those judges on Poundland? Well actually interestingly the uh, High Court upheld all of our position first time round. The well, Appeal Court comes in and what they've actually, the important thing to know what they didn't do, what they said to <laughs> those, the people that actually went to the appeal, they said, this woman particularly, it's not, it's against her human rights to be uh, told that they're in a, in a work experience program that she should work uh, only paid by her benefit, that this is something against her human rights. The court said, rubbish. Well, that's let's, not let's true. talk about what the court did say. So the court then said the regulation, no, they said the regulations were set too wide mm. and weren't specific enough. Now, the High Court said they were, they said they weren't. I've already put emergency regulations mm. down, that's ended it. I am not going to give way on this. I absolutely clearly tell you this that people who think that it is their right to take benefit and do nothing for it. Those days are over. Well, hold on, that's not so what happened. Mandation. Hold on a second. Well, These people were sent what, on. Hang on. That's they not what happened in the case of for uh, a work Kate experience Ryan. program. Yes, volunteered for a work experience program, which many young people want to do, and then decided that actually didn't want to do it anymore. Well, it look, was let's, made pretty no, no, clear me. at the let's, time. Let's look at the case of. They would suffer sorry a to interrupt. Withdrawal you. of benefit if they didn't do what Kate, they were asked. Kate Riley, the woman who brought uh, uh, the case, she has a degree in geology. Do you think <clears> it makes sense? She was doing voluntary work in a museum. And then she's told, you must go and stack shelves in Poundland. No, she wasn't told that at all. What happened was, work experience, let me explain what work experience is. When I first came in, I was asked by thousands of kids up and down the country who said, we can't get jobs because the first thing they ask us for, what experience do you have? We can't get the experience if we don't have a job. So what we did is we allowed people on benefits to have two months in a company, work experience, just working, doing what other people would do. They can put that in their CV. Do you know it's been so successful that over half of those kids have left benefits? It's the most successful program we've got. But what we've said to them is, once you commit to doing that program, because companies have to make arrangements around it, then if you don't do this, you may suffer a benefit withdrawal because you have messed them around and they are therefore going to uh, suffer as a result of that. It's a point that anybody out there listening to this will know. You have to learn early that if you commit to something, you stay by and do it. And, and, and I understand she said she wasn't paid. She was paid job seekers allowance by the taxpayer to do this. Most young people love this program. And I'm sorry, there are a group of people out there that think that they're too good for this kind of stuff. Let me remind you, Terry Leahy started his life stacking shelves. And for next time somebody goes in, of these smart people that say there's something wrong with this, they go right. into their supermarket, ask themselves this simple question. Even when they can't nice. find the food on the shelves, who sh is more well, important? Then the geologist or the person it, that stacked the shelves? It may have been cleared off the shelves. Ian Duncan Absolutely. Smith, thank you very much thank indeed. Thank you very much. Now, let's join Chan for the news headlines. Thanks, Eddie. The Work and Pension Secretary, Ian Duncan Smith, has supported the Home Secretary's plans for new laws to stop foreign criminals avoiding deportation by claiming the right to a family life. Mr Duncan Smith said that courts too often allowed family life to trump the view clearly expressed by Parliament that foreign criminals should be deported. He said judges knew very well the mood and mind of Parliament and should be reasonable and react properly.
Kate and Sherry McCann have criticised Conservative proposals.